Hi everybody, Paul here, back with another Hive Studio tutorial video. In this video, we're gonna look at Pan, Tilt, Zoom presets, and we will look at preset groups and look at how those are different from image setting presets. Let's get started. So here we have the Hive interface here, and I've got my click to center tool, my Cine Center tool up and ready to go because we're gonna make some presets. Now, in the bottom uh, of the Hive interface, I'm going to zoom into this here, we have all of our presets. And I can click a button to create a preset. I'm just going to kind of use the fast frame tool here to zoom into these cameras on the table for our next preset here. Okay. And I'm going to click the plus button to create a preset. This is a pan tilt zoom preset, and by double clicking underneath, I can fill in what I want this to be called. I will call this table cameras, and now I've given that a name. Um, so I can quickly go back and forth. I've got my image of where I want, where the camera is going to go to, and then I can just click those to go back and forth. Now, on the right hand side of this area, we have the ability to create preset groups. And by creating a preset group, I can group together several presets for easy access. So I'm going to show you how to do this. We'll create our first preset group here. And by double clicking them, we can have a name. So we'll have couch area for the first group. And then for the second group, we'll have table area. Okay. And I'm going to zoom into this joystick a little tighter here. And we'll call this preset joystick. You can see how quickly it is, I am. And then if I hold the space bar, by the way, it just turns on the joystick mode. I'll make another one here. Uh, we'll just call this pillow. Just simple stuff here, for example. And now I can go back and forth between these. I'll go back. I'll go all the way out so you guys can see this. There's the pillow, joystick, beautiful. And I can switch back and forth between these very easily. Now, when I switch between cameras, right now I'm just using the keyboard that in front of me. When you switch between cameras, the presets change. So there's a preset for, uh, that hasn't been set in a while, I'll change that. Uh, so when I go back to this one, the preset area changes, boom. But when I go back to this, let's go to the ceiling camera here, hold the joystick down. The ceiling camera is a lot all the way up on the ceiling. So I want it to come down, down, down. And then I'll set another preset once it's looking down on the ground where I want it. Come on all the way down here. So this is more of a side shot here. Get it over to this area here. This is the, the joystick button can be really good for this kind of stuff. I will do the like pillow. And I'll just go ahead and create a like pillow preset. Like pillow. Okay. Now, so that's how it works. There's preset positions in the top and the bottom. Now, the other thing I want to draw your attention to is the image presets. These are different. We're going to cover this in the uh, color correction tutorials. But these are presets that are made up of the different shutter speeds, irises, iris adjustments, color correction tools that you have access to. So you might be changing the gain, you might be changing the shutter speed, etc. And then creating a new preset based on those changes. So these are different. Just want to make sure that's clear. We have position presets, okay? And we have color correction presets. Those are two different things that we can use. So that is how easy it is to access these PTZ presets and create groups of presets so that you can be organized with the different areas, the different types of events that you are doing. That's how easy it is to set presets and call them. You can also do presets via hotkeys. So if you're using a keyboard and mouse, I, I highly recommend you take a look at some of these hotkeys. For example, you might have seen that I was switching sources with buttons one, two, three, and four. We can also 
uh, toggle between preset groups and call preset groups. So I'll just do this for example to give you a um, an, just to give you an example of how this might work. So shift one is preset one, shift two is preset two. So I can switch between cameras here, switch between camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four, just with my keyboard. If I hit shift one, that will call preset one. If I hit shift two, it will call preset two. And you can see that happening right there in the bottom there. So very, very cool stuff for controlling Hive with keyboard and mouse, with your stream deck, with an X keys controller. It's all customizable to fit your needs. That's how easy it is to control and operate PTZ camera positions using Hive. I'll see you in the next video.